Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to de discuss the deflection in beam. So, how we can find the deflection limits for the beams? So, I will explain this lecture with the help of an examples and figures, so it will be more easy to understand. Now, there are different limits for the deflection of the beams, and these deflection limits are mainly for the live load and also for the dead load. So, in case of the live load, it is L by 360, while in case of the dead load, it is L by 240. So, what does it mean? I will explain this with the help of an example. So, these both are considered L by 360 and L by 240 are considered by ACI 318.14. So, these are the recommendations are the standard guidelines provided by the American Concrete Institute. Similarly, in Indian codes or Euro codes, you can also find the live load deflection limits and dead load deflection limits. Now, how to define these limits? So, let's consider that this is an example of beam. This is a simply supported beam of length, let's suppose 10 meter. And there are live loads acting on this beam, let's suppose W is a live load in this case and it is 3 kN per meter. So due to this load acting on the beam, it will show some deflection. So this is the deflection of this beam and it will show maximum deflection at the center of the beam. So in ACI says that our deflection due to live load is this is a live load, it should always be less than the L by 360. So if I consider the deflection for this beam, so due to live load, L by 360, so length of the beam is 10 meter here. So L is the length which is 10 meter divided by 360. So I got here 0 0.0277. I multiplied with the 1000, so I got 20, 27 millimeter. So 27 millimeter is the maximum deflection allowed for this beam. So our beam deflection, if it is less than 27 millimeter, if this deflection, for example, is 10 millimeter or 15 millimeter, so it is okay for the live load. But if it is greater than the 27 millimeter, so we should increase the dimension, the cross section of this beam in order to take the more load and to show less deflection. So for the live load, we have our limit, which is 27 millimeter, when the length of the beam is 10 meter. Now, similarly for the dead load, what is our limit for the deflection? It is L by 240 or we can say 10 by 240 which is L is 10 meter here. So it means it comes out to be 0 0.04166 or in meter. In millimeter it comes out to be 41 millimeter. So 41 millimeter is the maximum deflection allowed for this beam of length 10 meter for the dead load. Dead load means by considering the self fate of the beam. So you can find the sulfate of the beam easily. But this is the live load here before I showed you in our case, which is dead load. So in dead load, you should multiply the density with the cross section of the beam. So you can find out the dead load for the beam. So for the dead load, our deflection should be less than the 41 millimeter. So similarly, if we got our maximum deflection, for example, for our dead load equal to 28 millimeter for dead load. So in this case, our restriction is 41 millimeter and dead load maximum deflection is 28 millimeter. So it is okay because our limit for dead load is 41 millimeter. And for live load, it is 27 millimeter. Similarly, if our live load, we found out the maximum deflection for the beam for live load and it comes out to be 15 millimeter. So in this case, for live load, our limit is 27 millimeter and here it is 15 millimeter. So this is also okay because both the values are under the limits. It is 27 millimeter for live load and for dead load it is 41 millimeter. So similarly, you can find the different limits for the uh, different codes. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.